the most visceral, direct, and um, sustainable favorite part is the is the is that kind of uh, feeling you have at the end of a writing day in which you've created four or five or six hundred uh, true and and as best you could that day polished words uh, that articulate. Uh, the thing that you did not even know you knew until you wrote it. And um, it's that ongoing act of ex exploration of your own vision of the world that, uh, that, that uh, is at the heart of creating literature that uh, provides, I think, the, 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 the primary satisfaction of, of creation. Ultimately, the artist the aspiring literary artist must learn that all art comes not from the mind. It does not come from the mind. It does not come from the rational analytical faculties. It does not come from ideas. Art comes from the place where you dream, from your unconscious. And to empower that nascent literary writer to write from the, the, his or her white hot center, the, the, the irrational sense-based place, that's the the most important advice that I can give and continue to give even to my graduate creative writing students is you're not meant to uh, understand a work of art. In, in, in the primary and only necessary encounter with it, you're not meant to understand a work of art in a rational, analytical way. You're meant to thrum to it, uh, like the string on a string instrument vibrating. So um, to whatever extent I can encourage uh, the students today to, to thrum. Uh, that's, I think, the best uh, takeaway.